This is a quick video from us at Core Tuning showing how to do a factory read with your direct flash package. This is assuming binary editor is installed and operational and you have all your databases installed and operational as well. So first off we'll go to hardware tab and ensure that you have the OBD2 cable or OBD2 selected. Then we'll go to OBD2, open the connection to the cable. Once you have a connection to your cable we can do a vehicle info, follow the prompts, what this is doing is reading the computer to find out what it is, so it says it's a RAD 3G5, now we're going to go here, RAAD 3G5, Now we have this file open. We're going to hit read. Follow the prompts. Battery voltage is good. Hit yes. Key off. Wait a few seconds. Key on. And now we're reading. What this is doing is reading the calibration out of the PCM so that we can save it to so we can edit it. Now we'll just follow the prompts, key off, hit OK. We're going to save this file. So we're going to save calibration. And what I like to do is I have it on my desktop, I'll have a folder labeled tune folder. I'll put the tune, a folder inside there labeled my car whatever you want to label it. If you're a shop you would label it your customer's name or however you decide to do it. But we're going to, well I already have one in there, we're going to label it whatever you want to label it and hit save. So now we have the factory read in there, in this, saved in the laptop. So now we're going to go make an edit. Just multiply by 5%. Now we're going to save it, and I'm going to save it as whatever you want. I label them base one, save. So now I have it labeled. So now I'm going to write this to this computer. So what I'm going to do is hit write. It's going to tell me to turn the key on. Now it's going to ask for a token. Yes. We're going to save it with the name that we just made, not the original. Save. Yes. Now we just start the same process over. Key off. 
guión. So another thing to keep in mind is once you have a successfully flashed the processor and binary editor sees that it's successfully flashed, it will attach the token and the calibration name will turn green. That means it does have a token with it and it is matching this computer at this point. You'll see that here. Follow the prompts, key off, key on, and hit OK key off okay so now it shows green that means we have an operational set flash everything should be good to go so now what I want you to realize is if we go back and we open up that tune file that we just made the original read it does not have a token with it if I try to flash this computer with this tune it's going to ask for a token if we go back and open the other tune it does have a token in it so it will flash this computer so now we can just if we make another change so I'll go back into the mass error and I'll just put it back to stock highlight it all right click set to original save we're going to label this one base 2 And at this point I could flash this into it and it would put that tune in it, but notice it's still green because I started with one with a token in it. If you have any questions, email us at benclintoradam at coretuning.net.